This one right here came all the way across the country from some place in Oregon. Yes, that place in Oregon, better known as the Vintage Sanctuary. Um, Adam had reached out to me, I don't know, end of last week, maybe the beginning of this week, saying that he had sent something for me in the mail. And behold, here it is. Um, so um, I will open this on, um, on, on video. I usually don't do that. Um, but for this one, I will do it because I want to be... Um, I want to be surprised along with you. I usually do um, my openings, even when I get a you know a care package. I usually do my openings um, off camera, but I don't look in the package. Um, I really do open it, you know, grab it out of the the package on 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 um, on video. But today I felt like busting out the the shiv and uh, doing this right here right in front of you, and I feel all this nice crinkly pop, plastic pops. What's this called? Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. He sent me some grade A bubble wrap, which I really appreciate. That means the card is well protected. This is pretty thick. What, Adam, what did you do? Adam, what did you do? So we got some nice tape on here. Let's remove the tape. <clears throat> Let's slide out this. And look at this fancy box he, he put it in. Can't tell by the sh by shaking what it could be. Uh, let's see. Cards. Uh, it might be cards. I think it might be cards since that's what we do here. You know, that's what the... <laughs> that's what that's what the community is about cards and I'm gonna do this without slicing my fingers open we did a ver Adam did a very nice job packaging using blue painters tape and oh no note ski all right <clears throat> let me get my orator voice ready <clears throat> Me, 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 me. Okay. Mike, April 5th, 2024. Thought I would send a few, a few. I, I was expecting just one. A few cards your way, my collecting brother. Sell, trade, or keep them. Whatever works for you. Smiley face. I love your humor and your passion for this great hobby, Adam Vintage Sanctuary. Well, thank you, Adam. And that goes right back to you, sir. Um, I enjoy your humor and your passion as well. It is, um, it is contagious, my friend. Um, so thank you ahead of time, and I'll thank you again during and after I see the cards. So there's my first thank you. Um, right now we have this piece of plain cardboard right here covering the first card, so I haven't seen what's in here yet. So can we do a slow roll? Are we going to do a slow roll here? Let's see. Uh, it's maybe upside down. Yeah, I think it's upside down. So let's see. There's something in here that's gerated. But I'm gonna first, let's do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna close it up. I'm not gonna look. So I'm gonna keep the suspense. I wanna keep the suspense. All right, guys, what is it? What is it? I'm not looking at the back. You'll see half my face. You'll see it as I see it. It's probably backwards. I probably have it backwards. Oh, uh, that is, it looks like, oh, a sparkly Aaron Judge card. I love it. It's a sparkly numbered Aaron Judge card. Very nice. And Adam, I won't be selling or trading these. You know that, right? They are in my collection forever, as my mother used to say. So this nice um, shimmer. 2022 Aaron Judge. I do not have that one for sure. And it is numbered 522 out of 875. Adam, if there's any significance to that numbering, please let me know. You're the mathematician. I don't know if that, you know, boils down to some simpler fraction that has meaning or not. Um, it could maybe is that code for the when the next um, 
um, solar eclipse is or, um, you know, something like that. But just let me know so I can, you know, I could put that on my calendar. All right. But that is awesome. That's some shine on that card. Look at that. And there's the back and there's the number. So thank you, Adam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. I love anything I get sent. And, you know, I, 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 I so appreciate everything that I've been sent over the few years that I've been doing this. Actually, it's been almost, I think this is my eighth year. Crazy, right? I think this October will be my eight-year anniversary. Next. Ooh, it's graded. Graded. Great. Uh, I, I can't read backwards. Oh! You sent me a Reggie Jackson Tiffany card. Adam, I hope... Um, oh, and it's in his age uh, jersey. It's a traded version. Very cool. Love that. I hope you didn't remove that from your collection and send to me. Um, that's awesome. Let me, let me cover up. I know there's another, actually, it looks like there's a couple of more cards in here. Are you crazy, dude? All right, I'm going to cover that up. Let's pull this out. Now, I have seen it. So this beautiful Adam loves the, um, the 87, actually, not just the 87 Tiffany's. Adam is a big uh, fan of the Tiffany's as they are from 84 through what, 1990, I believe, or 91. Um, this is awesome. This is my first graded Tiffany, and it's of the great Reggie Jackson. So this is his legit uh, last tops card in an A's uniform, which is kind of appropriate because he started with the A's and he ended with the A's. Um, I always love this card. This is a really cool card, and it has the um, it has look at this right here. This special sticker, this holographic eBay void if damaged authenticity guaranteed. So you mean, if I remove the card from this, um, this team bag, that means it's not authenticated anymore? Are you really kidding me? Oh my God, I guess this is not an authentic 87 Tops Tiffany anymore. It is now fake because I removed it from that team bag that said it was authentic. So now I have a fake 1987 graded from PSA that says Tops Tiffany, but it's actually fake because I removed it from the bag with the um, QR code and the little holographic imagery from um, eBay. So there we go. Thank you. Thank you, eBay. And thank you, Scott. Thank you. In the back of the card, beautiful. And uh, that's just a really, really cool, cool and awesome card. Wow. You're killing me here, Scott. Uh, Scott, you're killing me, Adam. You got me so excited, I call you by the wrong name. All right, we got a couple of more slab Roonies in here because I can tell they're at least they're slabs. Let's see what this one is. This one is, what's that? I can't read. <laughs> 1989 Top Tiffany Ricky Anderson! Woo! Mr. Hall, Mr. Hall, what tangled webs we weave. Beautiful. Again, I do not own any um, Ricky Henderson Tiffany cards, and now I do, thanks to you. The beautiful 1989 Topps Tiffany. And I always really like that card. It's a nice action shot of Ricky busting out of the box. And, of course, he's still in, in the Yankee uniform. You know, this year he was traded back to the A's. Um, and that is awesome. Love it. You're kicking my butt, Mr. Hall. You're kicking my butt. Very, very nice. And there's one more in here. Uno mas. It's my limited Spanish. And we got... You'll see it. I really, you'll probably be able to tell what it is before I can because I can't read backwards. Oh, oh what, 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 what? What's the. Oh, 86. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. 
Oh, I love it, man. 86 tops, Tiffany, Ricky Henderson. You're kicking my, uh, my PC in the loins. That is awesome, Scott. I, I did it again. That's the second time I did it. Scott. Adam, you're now known as Scott, okay? Um, maybe because I'm thinking of the wrestler Scott Hall. Your last name is Hall, and I'm thinking of Scott Hall. I don't know, but I apologize. Your name is Adam, and um, Adam, not Scott. <laughs> and I keep my videos raw as can be. This is not getting edited out or anything, so there we go. Um, but beautiful. I'm um, actually, I don't think I've, do I even have, I might have a couple of Don Manningly Tiffany's, but I don't have his 86 Tiffany. And I just love the vibrancy on the back of these Tiffany cards. They're just so like, they're so nice and easy to read. Bright. I'm really into bright colors. And um, very, very nice. I'm really into bright colors, and uh, so I appreciate that kind of stuff. So, um, Adam, you are the man. Um, thank you so much, man. That is awesome. Very thoughtful. Very awesome. Love the cards. They are not going anywhere, my friend. They are not going anywhere. So, um, Vintage Sanctuary. You blew my doors off. Look at this awesomeness. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And when I see it at the National, I'm going to give you a big Hitman hug. All right? All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Thank you again to Adam at Vintage Sanctuary. And um, everybody have a great rest of the evening. I actually, I've got to do my taxes. I haven't done them yet. Probably because I, I think I owe, so I don't do them till like way at the end. Um, yeah, so I got to do that, and I got to drool over over these cards. And actually, it's nice because they're slabbed. I can drool on them, and it, it won't matter. Except for this one that it's not authentic anymore. It's it's or you know it's it's a fake card now because I took it out of the sleeve. Um, otherwise, it's it's all good. It's all good. And um, everybody made the cardboard guide shine on upon each and every one of you. You know, keep enjoying your collections. And um, I will catch you on the next video. Peace. And again, thank you, Mr. Adam Vintage Sanctuary. Boo-bye.